So we're gonna go and try out some adept achievements for a little while. And we're gonna start out with Jane Romero, also known as The Thick. You don't understand how fucking hard it is to get adept killers in this new patch. Come on. Come on. And I didn't get it. How did I not get it? I even used no fucking add-ons and I still didn't get it. What the hell? What did I get? You have to double pip for one. And when you're when you're sitting there and you're one fucking notch away from double pipping, it kind of kills you inside. But maybe I'll show you the games on the plague. So we'll have to wait and see. But what we're doing is Adept Jane using her three main perks. Not gonna bring in any items or add-ons, and I'll bring in an offering just to get some blood points. But what we got is we got head on. When I'm in a locker for three seconds, I'm able to stun the killer for three seconds when I hop out of the locker, when I fast vault, causes exhaustion for 60 seconds. We got solidarity. If me and another person is injured and I heal them up, I gain 40% of the healing. If I heal them up one health state, I get 40% fully healed. If I heal them out from down to the up to the the healthy state, then I get 80% healing. And then we got poised. So after completing a generator, I leave no scratch marks for eight seconds. Nice little perk to run away from the gen after I finish it. And then for items, add-ons, nothing. And then for an offering, we're gonna go ahead and use some blood points to get more perks for my goddamn Jane so I can get the teachables on Jake and do some builds with them. And we're gonna go in and get this adept achievement because it's a lot easier on Survivor to be totally honest. <laughs> All right, I'm fucking gone, fuck this game. Fucking three mans and shit, I'm tired of it. <clears throat> oh my God. Three man, two man lobbies. Survivors that are ranked 15 and a killer that's ranked 20 or fucking ranked two and then killers that are ranked 20. Bruh, when I'm a killer that's in red ranks, no rank 15s are gonna wanna fucking face me. And that's a fact. I don't wanna face them either. Makes the game unfun. What's even worse is when you're playing Survivor and you got a fucking potato on your team that's sitting in a corner crouching. This game is going to shit with this new ranking system. Who thought it was a good idea? Who in their right mind was like, Oh, I want to face rank 15s and shit. The fucking people that derank, that's who. Got a haggy poop. It's a it's a baby. It's it, it's a baby hag. I know it's a baby hag because it it's a default hag, and no one runs default hag unless they're a baby. Can you get away from my gen, please? Hello. I jumped down the second she moved. Okay, she got a fucking trap at the corner. Ooh, respect that pal. Ooh. Yeah, you so wanna face me, don't you? See, this is how I know she's a baby. She wouldn't have taken that trap. Bruh. See, I feel bad. I'm gonna go pop this trap on my gen.
This is how I'm gonna get my achievement. This is how I'm gonna get my achievement. Yep. I love it. I had like three, three or four games where it was just all two man, three mans, or someone right when the game starts just disconnects and it's not because they disconnected, it's because the game kicked them out. I've had it so many times yesterday while playing with my girlfriend that I just get kicked out of the game and the game crashes and I'm just like, hell yeah. I wonder what rank this killer is going to be. Oh, hi. How's it going? Riley, you toxic using prove thyself. You toxic. You toxic. There's the no one escapes death. I'm crawling away. I'll see you guys later. Riley, you toxic. Don't you fucking dare. Yes, get him up first. Nice, then come get me. Nice. Don't go that way. At least the no one escapes death made the game like more lively. Going back. Oh no, she's still going after me. No, she's going back. Okay. Let's find this totem. And she's just chilling down there. Is there a way to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Going back. She's going back. She's coming for the booties. The thick booties. She's coming for it. That's a decent totem spot. I've seen a couple of totems. You guys ain't getting out of that basement, by the way. At least uh, no one escapes death made the game more lively. No point of healing, to be totally honest. There's still a no one escapes death. I got that poise. Or not poise. Solidarity. At least I'll be able to use it this game. Should've known there was a fucking no one escape. I guarantee you the totem is inside of that fucking area. Down in downstairs. Well, he disconnected. Well. 
No one escapes death. <laughs> Fucking saved his game. <laughs> Here, have some points. Guarantee you it's downstairs inside of the fucking the the purgatory. But I got my adept. That's all that matters. <sighs> juicy no one escapes death. Fucking juicy. Well, oh, thank you. Give gifts to your thickness. Very nice. Hell no, I'm gonna go find this totem. Okay, you don't need to follow me. Hey, there's a bubba and the totem's right there. Where are you going? Oh, don't, don't start sitting at pallets and letting him fucking... Don't start doing that. Hey, I got a leader. Look at these gen tappers. Disgusting. That's disgusting. I'm appalled. <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, hmm, uh, where you going? <laughs> So I do have head on. If I need to use it, I'll use it. God damn it. Why are you following the leather face? Oh shit. I thought he was gonna. What are you guys doing? Why were both of you guys following the Leatherface around? There's no uh, pallet over here, so now we're fucked. He's coming back. Oh, this guy is kind of like, you know, um, on the hook still. You guys are smart. Where? Why are you falling? Never mind. I don't. This is gonna be a hatch game. One hundred percent gonna be a hatch game. Ooh, the insta. Slice him again, and then the down again because he's got enduring. <laughs> These fucking people, I swear to God. <laughs> Ooh, the sneakiness. Not being sneaky, that's not allowed. You better hurry up and save him. I'm coming over. Ooh. Didn't know which way he was coming from. I'm just gonna sit on this gen. That guy in there should be like 60% his gen right now. I have a feeling there's gonna be a no one escapes death. Been getting him a lot lately. Oh, you want heals, huh? Finish this gen. He should be done that gen soon. Oh, never mind. Well, there you go. <laughs> At least he finished the gen. <laughs>
Thank God this pallet's still here. Oh, he's going back. I'll get this gen. You know, might as well be the gen jockey since no one else is doing anything. You guys are running at the hook and shit. Leatherface is trying to get a new booty. That's why he keeps uh keeps going. Well, he's not even really going after me. He sees me and then leaves me. He could have probably got two more pallets down if he would have kept going after me. I'm not going to be able to use head on. Unless, like, he gets put in the basement. There you go, guys. Is there, uh... Yes, there's a pallet over here. He's also going to come over this way, though. Oh, the spirit fury. I should have known. Did he not go for that? Oh, he did. Okay. Well, you're kind of screwed now. I got stuck on the rock. I'm crawling. Why would you do that? I'm crawling. <laughs> you ain't getting me alive, bitches. <laughs> Hope you guys have the doors open. <laughs> good thing he went after him. Well, he was dead on hook. But good thing he went after him. It would have sucked. Thomas the Train. Bad game because you died. I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. No thigh. Girl, you don't know about me. So me. get off my fucking D. My Born D. and raised in the thigh. This is real as you gon' see. You see. Girl, you don't know about me. So me. get off my fucking D.